Hello everyone, SimCFI here, and today we're going to learn how to perform a Shandao. A Shandao is a maximum performance climbing turn with a heading change of 180 degrees, a maximum gain in altitude, and rolling wings level just above stall speed. We're going to perform this maneuver in the A2A simulations Comanche 250 because this is a complex airplane. Remember, a complex airplane has wing flaps, retractable gear, and a constant speed prop. We're using a complex airplane today because this is what you'd be using if you're performing this maneuver for your commercial check ride or maybe even your CFI initial check ride. So we're over here in the practice area to the west of Yuba County Airport in Northern California. In setting up this maneuver, we want to make sure, just like all maneuvers, we finish at or above 1,500 feet. And as, as this is a climbing maneuver, that's not really going to be an issue for us. We're at 3,000 feet. We're going to be going up. We just make sure we clear the area of traffic. Looks pretty clear to me. So now we get us out of the maneuver. There's two halves of the maneuver of the 180 degrees, two segments of 90 degree turns. The first half is going to be constant bank angle and changing pitch, and the second half is going to be constant pitch and changing bank angle. So what's going to happen is we're going to immediately roll into a 30 degree bank and then throughout the first 90 degrees we'll be constantly changing our pitch until we get to our maximum pitch angle. Once we hit the 90 degree point we're going to maintain that maximum pitch angle and we're going to do a slow but consistent rollout all the way to wings level. Once we're wings level we have to be within 5 knots above stall speed or at stall speed but not actually stalling and then we have to maintain our altitude plus or minus 50 feet of whatever we roll out on. And then we enter this maneuver at maneuvering speed or cruising speed whichever is slower in the Comanche the maneuvering speed is definitely slower. You can see the power settings I'm using about 19 squared to try to maintain maneuvering speed which is 129 miles per hour when you have your wingtip tanks installed So we're going to get turned around here, set up the maneuver, and so you want to have visual points to identify the 90 degree point and your rollout point, and flying in the California Valley is easy for this because we have all these grid lines from the fields down below. Another thing you can add or maybe use as your sole reference is find a point off your wingtip and then know when you get maybe maybe have it off your, your left wing tip for when you're doing a left shandow and then it'll be in front of you for your 90 and then it'll be off your right wing tip when you roll out but otherwise you might want to find a straight road a nice long straight line in the ground and then that'll help with your 90 as well and then you can also set your heading bug and or your course line on your HSI as a handy reference but primarily it needs to be a visual maneuver. Okay, so right now I'm setting up on some of these straight lines here, 3,000 feet. Reduce the power so we can get maneuvering speed. And ultimately it doesn't matter exactly what power settings you're at, you just have to make sure you're setting up the speed, the entry speed properly. So if it is cruise power, then just set your cruise power. But if it's maneuvering speed, then make sure you're getting your maneuvering speed. Okay, so 130 miles an hour roughly is our maneuvering speed, so we've got about 18 inches and 1900 RPM. Okay, so we're going to start this maneuver with a turn to the left. We're going to increase power to full. Make sure you put the mixture to full rich first if it's not already. And neutralize that gear switch. Now we're bringing the prop to full. And then now we're going to make our turn immediately to 30 degrees and increase full power. And then you have to maintain coordination the entire time. So full power, 30 degrees bank, and we're pitching up. Okay, we're coming up on the 90 degree point. We're at a 90 degree point now, and we have just about now we got maximum pitch. 
Now we begin a slow rollout. Got to hold that pitch, pitch back up a little bit. Keep the pitch in. Slowly roll out. It will be rolled out when we're parallel to these lines here. Okay, now we maintain our altitude plus or minus 50 feet. So we got to shove that nose forward. Be careful not to lose it, so we're maintaining the 4,300, and then we reduce power back to where it was. Get that right rudder out. Get back to our maneuvering speed. Get the nose down. Do 18 inches down again we climbed up again. Okay so now we're flying a 180 degree difference. We've gained about was that 1,300 feet. So now we'll do one to the right. Look around. So I'm increasing that prop. Pulling back the throttle just so we can slow down to that maneuvering speed before we start. Okay, there we go. So full power. Do a right turn. 30 degrees bank. We're pitching up. Staying coordinated. Pitching up. To that maximum pitch angle. Just about the 20 degree line for us. There we go. Now we begin a slow rollout. Hold this pitch. More and more right rudder, even more so in this climbing right hand turn. Pitch up. Keep the pitch up. As we slowly roll out, getting parallel to those lines. Coming close to stall speed. There's a point. 5,700 feet. We're about just a few nuts above the stall. Usually the examiners want to see or hear the stall horn, so we are very close. Let's reduce power. Remember the stall horn actuates 5 to 10 knots above stall speed, and so as soon as you get the stall horn, that's basically where you want the maneuver to be com completed. And now we're back to our maneuvering speed. And at this altitude, we could lean a little bit, too. Okay, so that's Chandel's. Common errors in Chandel's include improper pitch, bank, and power coordination during entry or completion, uncoordinated use of flight controls, improper planning and timing of pitch and bank angle, bank attitude changes, failing to achieve maximum performance, stalling at any point during the maneuver, and excessive deviation from desired heading during completion. So you just got to make sure we roll out 180 degrees later, not 190, not 200 degrees, or 170 degrees. And so as a review, the Shandow is at maximum performing, maximum performance 180 degree turn. We establish some visual points so we know when we're at our 90 degree point and when we're supposed to roll out, we make sure that we end the maneuver, we, we roll wings level just above stall speed, but not actually stalling, and making sure we're on the proper heading when we're done. If you have any questions about this maneuver, leave them in the comments below, and if you have any suggestions of what you'd like to see later in another video, leave those in the comments below as well. Alright, I'll see you in the next video.